the St James Theatre here in London is fast becoming a focal point for cabaret in the city. And uh, this afternoon I'm heading off to a rehearsal of Kurt Cansley and Rachel Johns. They're going to be performing their cabaret at the studio of the St James on the 26th of January. Yeah. Um, yeah, the concept is um, the concept is about being ethnic in a in a world of uh, uh, in this world of musical theatre and um, being typecast, um, which we all experience and I guess everyone experiences in, to some level. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, very much so. And I think yeah. uh, one of the things that that Kurt and I we talked about quite a bit is this idea that you know in cabaret and in kind of musical theatre situations that generally speaking ethnic performers don't really get their voice heard in the same way and I just don't think there's maybe a culture of doing cabaret uh, particularly in the UK not as much in the States. Do you think that London is a good place for cabaret? I mean New York certainly has been known for its cabaret over the years. I think it's an up-and-coming yeah. thing. Yeah. Absolutely. I think after, well I'm sorry I don't want to talk yeah, too much, but yeah. I think after the financial crash it kind of left this gap in between kind of the people with massive amounts of money and kind of smaller theatre companies and I think that Cabaret has started to kind of infiltrate that gap where people don't want to spend 50, 60 pounds on a ticket but they want to come and see great performance. Now you guys obviously know one another very well. How did you come to be working together? Lion King. Lion King. Because your background is theatre, music theatre. Yes. yes. We all we all met doing the show did doing the show at different times. Rachel and I started together in the yeah. West End company of the Lion King yeah. in two thousand and four, mm -hmm. and then um, Rachel I left, left and uh, I stayed on for about seven hundred years. <laughs> and um, <laughs> and, uh, and Ollie do. Ollie joined at that at, at some point then, and um, and I mean uh, these two of of like some of my closest friends mm -hmm. in London, um, who uh, not not only creatively we have a great relationship, but also. Um, we, you know, we can call each other up and have a great chat about things. But the, the whole process for this cabaret has been um, has been so such a joy to create together. Um, and the idea behind it is that there's music that we traditionally wouldn't ever perform. I love that. And I've changed. <laughs> and I've changed. Changed. We've, I've changed around a lot of the arrangements um, with with the assistance of the amazing Rachel John. Does that, um, Rachel, does that also involve um, songs that would be for men that women won't ever sing as well it's as everything? everything right? And then we've got... Literally songs you will never yes. get asked to do. And for me, it's, the, it's just the most fun ever because you get to sing things without the pressure of going, well, she didn't do it like that, <laughs> whoever the predecessor yeah. was. There's just no pressure at all. There's the freedom that. to go, this is me just breathing this out mm -hmm. and having the best time ever. So songs by men, songs by other women that I would mm -hmm. never do. And um, it's just fun. <laughs> Taking Rachel's story about her family and how she became a performer, mm -hmm. and then literally that's just the construct that we put on it, and then these guys play within that freedom. So this is the first venture of a company that Ollie's starting called the West End Theatre, the West End Cabaret Company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So hopefully this will kind of open up um, some further doors for other cabaret artists mm -hmm. as well, mm -hmm. um, and for and for other shows, for yeah. future shows, and not just the songs I'll never sing. Mm -hmm. But yeah. the studio is fast becoming a, a real sort of hub. 
at the St. James, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. The St. James kind of popped up as this new theater, mm. and when you go in, it's just so stunningly beautiful. Yeah. All you can think to yourself is, oh, I want to put on something here. And, and that, that there's was... There's an energy there too, isn't there? Absolutely. With the people who run the, the place. Absolutely. Like, uh, well, me being from the States, it feels like I'm back home right. when I'm there. And that was literally what happened to me a year ago is I had the fortune of meeting uh, James Albrecht, the artistic director of the space, and I said, please, 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 can I put something on here? Mm -hmm. And uh, that's kind of where the where collaboration are. began. It's not just theatre music. This is just anything that... We've, we've taken songs that we love. We've worked collaboratively yeah. on stuff that we've got gospel, we've got pop, we've got... R&B, we've got whatever tells we've the theater, story. Whatever yeah. tells the story. <laughs> there's an original song in there yes, as well. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, there's a, there's quite a bit of Disney that's been spiced up. <laughs> Why not? Because that's where we yeah. came from. That's how yeah. our friendship developed. So yeah, so yeah Disney is her. Yeah. And we've got this little one as well. <laughs> Thank you. 